Yo, what's up, guys? Dave Lockwood here, and today we are reviewing ownersbox.com. Why? Well, a couple of reasons. First, I've never played there before. I'm going to sign up today in this video. I'm going to deposit, and we're going to go through the site together, see what we find. I'll do the heavy lifting for you. I'll put the money in, and if we hate it, and we all say, huh, not for me, well, then you're not down a dollar. But also, I've heard that they have, I know that they have, super flex DFS contest for the NFL. If that doesn't, that doesn't make your ears perk up a little bit. I don't know what to tell you. What's more exciting or at the very least intriguing than just massive full out game stacks throughout the NFL season. So that caught my attention. Another thing that made me want to do this video, they have a sign up bonus for first time signups for first time members up to $500. I like free money and I'll take advantage of it while I can. So let's do an objective review here. The pros, the cons, everything in between. And at the end of the day, we'll see if this is something we want to stick with. So hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. All right, so here we are. Ownersbox.com. Homepage. Very simple layout. I like that. I prefer that. Fantasy sports. Got NFL, MLB, NHL, NBA. Superflex DFS and lightning lineups. No idea what that is. Uh, we can figure that one out together. I do know what Superflex is, and I do know what DFS is and it gets me excited for football uh, content and then promotions, any current promotions they have right now. So here's the homepage, pretty simple. Lightning lineups, look, you can watch that video right there. We'll have to figure it out another way because I'm not gonna watch a video on a video. Uh, Superflex DFS, all the featured contests. I don't even, there's, okay, 50K to first for week one, 200K. We'll get into all that in a second, but first let's actually sign up and deposit some money and take advantage of this bonus and then we'll get into the good stuff all right so i clicked sign up on the home screen it took me to the to the sign up information i put my info in and um i skipped that part for two reasons one you don't want to watch me put all that in <clears throat> two i don't want you to watch me put all that information in and the time it would take to blur all that nonsense out uh it's just too much but my count is verified i will say i had a hang up right and this is the way my name is, and I'm a junior, and it, and it has been a mess for a while, uh, getting verified. Sportsbook sites, uh, accounts, and everything, sometimes it took weeks for me to get verified. I ran into a, a hang-up here. I emailed them, just to throw this out there, because I, I'm unfamiliar with Owner's Box. You might be, too. I emailed them. I sent them just photo ID, front and back. Boom, 30 minutes, I was locked in and verified. They emailed me right back and got me set up. So step one good first response as far as customer service goes you like to see that i will right, we'll hit the next step see where this takes us and okay so online banking or debit or credit that's fine no paypal i would prefer you know to have like a paypal or venmo option i'm sure in the future they will all right let me get this deposit in and i'll be right back so we can start entering some contests and uh, also i threw the link in the description or in the pinned comment if you're looking to take advantage of it right now like i said it's up to $500 in site credit if you're signing up for the first time. Man, even if we don't like the site, free money is well worth taking advantage of. So I will do that right now, and then we'll come back and start getting into some contests. All right, boom, we are in. Deposit completed. I did get a message, text message from my bank saying, you, you know about this? I said, yes, I do. Let me through. And we got right through. We're in. Now that we're signed up, deposited, took advantage of the bonus. Let's go to the lobby and see what we're working with here. I, I wanna check out the DFS stuff first, uh, and then we'll get to lightning lineups because I don't actually know what that is. But all right, hold on, we got a notification here. Okay, we added, there we go, we're in. Um, sweet, all right, balance 500, owner's bucks 510. Oh, we got tickets too? We got some free tickets? All right, $5 salary cap ticket valid for a single entry and a $5 salary cap. That's awesome. Uh, $5 lightning lineup ticket valid for a single entry in a $5 lightning lineup contest. All right, we like that too. Sweet. So they uh, they sweeten the pot even past the, uh, the, the, the match bonus up to $500. So we'll take it. All right, so here we are in the lobby. We're doing NFL first and we'll see where it takes us. 200K kickoff, 50K to first is great. Not a lot of entries in here yet. 112 out of 15,869. So that's small. Uh, if they ran a contest like this every week, I'd be pretty happy. Even close to that. You know what I mean? It's a smaller site. It's not FanDuel or DraftKings. You can't expect that. Um, and, and that's kind of one of the other things, right? Like FanDuel and DraftKings are definitely going to have 
the bigger secondary contest, the three max, the five max, the single entry stuff. This, at least for now, unless they grow and get bigger, it's going to be that one flagship contest each week where most people's money is going into. Like, it is cool. They have the mini max 50 cent. That's not bad. I mean, it's 4K though. So like I said, elsewhere, it's going to be bigger than that. This is what? Um, prize $400 to first place. So still, you know, fine. Uh, the Hail Mary 4K to first, $20,000 prize pool, $5 to enter. That's not bad. 10K to first and a touchdown, 25, max 42. But you're not going to see a lot of like single entry stuff, three max, big prize pools. So it is what it is, but let's dive into the big one. 50K to first. Let's click on this and, and see where it takes us. Um, nine player roster. Uh, quarterback, one quarterback. Okay, so this is one quarterback. No, super flex. That's what I thought. Okay, so down there in the flex, I should have known. It's not a two QB league. It's a super flex contest. So you got super flex, quarterback, wide receiver, running back, tight end. Sweet. Let's build them. And uh, it looks like the scoring. I did look at this earlier. Looks like the scoring is all pretty similar to everything else. It's just you don't have, you know, bonuses like you would on DraftKings or something like that. But uh, everything else looks to be the same here. Yeah. All right. Cool. Not a bad payout structure. Let's build a lineup. All right. So. All right. So essentially, we're just we're just going building a lineup as we would FanDuel, DraftKings, anywhere else, right? This this all looks exactly the same. Uh, we got the one quarterback, two running back, two wide receiver. Okay, two wide receiver, tight end, then a two flex and a super flex. Ah, okay, we're not for the sake of the length of this video. We don't need to build one, but that's kind of cool. This is going to change. This is going to change the way we, we play, no doubt about it. But yeah, two flex and a super flex. So you're playing a quarterback, two running back, two wide receiver, tight end, two flex, wide receiver, running back, tight end and a super flex that is pretty awesome all right damn that that's gonna change things up a lot I, i'll tell you what like the whole everything i know about dfs is is certainly gonna change this is gonna, this is gonna take some time to getting used to uh but i kind of love this and one thing that intrigues me the most about this too is if you think about this like how do you utilize the roster spots you have fifty thousand dollars in salary cap sure you know, the same the same nine spots that you would have on draft. Well, nine spots, not the same on DraftKings. But on DraftKings, you can play that cheap defense. Uh, here, you don't have that cheap option. It's two flex and a super flex. So now, you know, like, and I know the salaries appear a little bit lower, but just looking at this and I'm thinking, oh, man, you get super flex. Can we just full out stack Miami and, and the Chargers in week one? It's probably going to be pretty impossible to do that with some of the top options. So it's going to make it really interesting. Are you trying to game stack, which I don't even know if it's possible between two good teams with two, you know, multiple top options and good quarterbacks, or are you, you know, stacking one team just with a run back and essentially doing like two different games with two team stacks with a run back. There's a lot of different things to consider here, but the fact that you don't have that cheap defense either uh, adds another wrinkle because there's nine spots, fifty thousand in salary. Sure, the salary is a little bit lower, but you know, it, it, it's going to make it more difficult, especially if you're trying to full out stack. So that super flex spot, is it always going to be a quarterback? Are you going to be game stacking? There's a lot of thought and process that goes into it that I'm uh, looking forward to digging into because I have no idea. This is something, I mean, we haven't seen significant changes to the DFS landscape in so long, right? Like so heavily focused DraftKings Fandal on betting that uh, this really spices things up a bit. I kind of can't wait to get into it. Uh, especially given that there's it's like not filled at all right now makes it that much better so i'm gonna start building lineups directly after this video all right let's go back to the lobby then let's go back to the lobby and see what else we have so daily salary caps build a team for one day only while staying under the salary cap what do we got here okay so it's the same thing right it's the same thing as the first one that's what i thought all right let's figure out let's figure out what the hell these lightning lineups are this will go a long way in helping us figure this out. They also have weekly brackets, draft the team and compete, multi-week tournaments. That is cool. Lightning lineups. All right, NFL. Uh, where is the all right, ticket automatic? Oh, no. It's been automatically applied. You receive one free. 
All right, well, I guess we're figuring this one out on the fly, aren't we? I had to pause this video because I tried to like read all, I read how it worked and it would, I, I, I was trying to read it and record a video at the same time and it just wasn't where I was like, what the hell am I looking at? But uh, all right, figured it out. It's actually really simple. I watched that video from earlier, 30 second video. We're picking one of these three lineups that we, the one that we think will outscore the others. And if we don't like one of them, we can re-spin it as many times as we want. And then if we add one and submit it, we're in and you can submit as many as you want for however much money you want. Um, and it automatically, it automatically submitted my $5 ticket. So be careful about that if you're getting into this one. I assume it'll just give it back to you, but let's do it for the sake of doing it. All right, so basically we have 40 seconds to pick one from this. Kelsey, Raymond, uh, Isaiah Pacheco, Gibbs, Rice, Amon Ross St. Brown. Ah, oh, man. All right, that's uh, against Kansas City. Let me, let me spin this baby one more time. Let's see what we get. Pacheco, Valdez, Goff, Kelsey, McKinnon, Montgomery. I mean, that's got to be it, right? Um, Holmes, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, Marvin. Yeah, I'm going with this one. I'm going Montgomery. Probably going to be the goal line back. Uh, yeah, McKinnon. Going to get some work in the passing game. Travis Kelsey. We'll go with this one. Submit our entry. And boom, we're in. All right, cool. So the opponent lineups are right there. You're, you're essentially playing against owner's box here. You want to do a new entry, you do it there. All right, so final verdict on owner's box. I'll give you the good first. The good, I love the super flex stuff. It's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be different. It's 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 unique um, and it's entirely different lineup builds than what we're familiar with doing, right? Like a quarterback, two running backs, two receivers, two flex, and then a super flex. It's intriguing to say the least. I like it though. I think it'll be fun and challenging and you're, you're going to see some pretty crazy builds and it's going to be different than what we know, but I really like that. I, I, you don't really see the opportunity for that out there. So uh, creating an interesting wrinkle in a space like, you know, the DFS space that's focused so heavily on sports betting, you know, with DraftKings and FanDuel over the last few years, you haven't seen a lot of innovation there. Uh, I, I like knowing that we have this in our back pocket, that we can play some super flex contests. That's pretty fun. The bonus Look, we've all been on DraftKings and FanDuel for a long time. We're not getting those sign-up bonuses anymore for DFS. So this is by far the best bonus that you're going to find out there, hands down. I also like that it's simple. You know, I, personally, I don't see myself playing much of the like the lightning lineups or the weekly brackets. Maybe, maybe you will. Maybe, maybe you'll thoroughly enjoy that. It seems like a cool idea. It's just, you know, not something I love. Although, you know what? If you're working with good projections. Uh, then it definitely seems like something that you could get into. Maybe it is beatable. Maybe it's worthwhile. You're playing against owner's box in that case, right? Maybe it is something that I should look more into. But uh, mostly interested in the DFS side of this. Those are all positives. It's simple. The sign-up bonus is awesome. The super flex is awesome. The, the downside, I would say, is this. You're just never – I shouldn't say never. In the, in the near future, maybe distant future as well, you're just never going to see the contest sizes like DraftKings and FanDuel. It's just not going to happen, right? Like you're, you're going to get the big flagship contest each week, which I think is great. You know, if you have 50 or 40 or even 30K up top, no one's going to turn their nose up, up, up at that. 150 max, only $15 to enter. And, and it looks like we may be seeing some overlay in some of these contests as well. But to get those three max and single entry and five max, or even like, smaller 150 max contest for a one dollar or a quarter or 50 cent or whatever with with bigger prize pools but lower entry fees owner's box probably isn't going to be the place to do that so it's a pick your poison type deal i think always taking advantage of the free money makes sense and the bonus uh trying out a new format that seems like a lot of fun and super flex is pretty awesome but you're not going to just stop playing like they're not at a point yet where you're just going to stop playing DraftKings and FanDuel to play an owner's box I think you're going to supplement your playing with owner's box and why would you not? So that's how I look at it. Uh, there's not a lot to it. it. It seems good to me. I'm going to enter some lineups as soon as this video is over. And um, the negatives are just, it's a smaller site. You know, you're not going to get the same huge contest that you would anywhere else. Uh, outside of that, I don't really see the negatives. So hopefully this helped guys. Remember, if you want to sign up, links in the description in the chat. If you're watching on Twitter, the link is below this tweet if you want to take advantage of that bonus. And let's build some lineups out on Owner's Box and win some money this NFL season. Peace.